Hi Taurus, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This Today we're looking at the first week of August, August 1st, 2022 for your entire week. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. This is a week of fear and worries leaving, but bottom line, this shows me that you're on the right path this week. Um, secrets may be revealed and you may reunite with someone from the past. Don't shoot the messenger. You're actually glad to reconnect with this person. Uh, it's asking you to relax and take some downtime as well as you do get what you want. But the funny thing about it is, Taurus, it's going to come in a form you're not expecting. Okay, so let's get started here with our first card up from a Taurus. We start with the five of water. Okay. Five of water is the five of cups. And the, what you're guilty of, Taurus, is being in your own head and overthinking things, maybe being a little bit too analytical, overanalyzing things. It's asking you to let go and just kind of roll with the flow. Okay. Oh, we lost focus there. Are we back? Yes, no. Wow. Hmm. Okay, we're back now. Y'all bear with me. We've got a new technical setup that I'm trying to learn on this one. So just bear with me. Next card up, Taurus, we have the Ten of Fire. Now, the cool thing about the Ten of Fire is it's a part of a new beginning for you guys. This is overcoming your obstacles, um, throwing them to the side, creating a new path, a better path. And just like I said at the beginning of the video, it's the right path. The Ace of Earth. You can also expect a new beginning in your financial sector. And we'll go further with these messages. And we'll let the Ace of Water also a new beginning in love. So yeah, love and money for my Taurus. Center of your reading is the King of Earth. I love this. This is financial abundance. This is financial stability. For some of you, a Gemini may or may not resonate here. And we have the seven of water. And this tells me you've got a lot of options in a lot of different areas. Um, take your time with your decision making. Don't make rash, hasty decisions. Think things through. This also tells me that, you know, what you've been manifesting since the first year is actually starting to come to fruition for you guys. We have the nine of air. Okay. Now this tells me it comes with, you know, that, um, the five that I was talking about where you're in your head, the five of cups. Well, the nine of air also tells me that there's a loss of sleep and the loss of sleep comes from the same thing. You're overthinking things. You're having a hard time shutting down at the end of the day. Then we have the Six of Earth. So, Six of Earth tells me that there's something coming in financially that's going to restore your financial balance. And it's not only going to restore the financial balance. For some of you, this is like an actual, um, how do you say, financial relief, maybe that sigh of relief or something that comes in that just, just in the nick of time for you guys. This is definitely part of your week. And we have the seven of earth. And this tells me that you're working, you're gaining. I'm trying to figure this out here. There we go. You're working, you're gaining, you've planted the seed, you're watching it grow. Uh, some of you, this could indicate raises, promotions, uh, things of that nature, or starting of another business. Or maybe a second job, something like that. So let's get further with these messages here. And again, this is for Taurus, and this is for your week of August 1st, 2022. Okay. Next up, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords, guys, says this is the calm before the storm. You know, at the beginning, I told you to relax, get some, take some time to yourself. This is telling you, get the rest that you need while you can. Okay. And we have the Knight of Wands. Quick movement energy. This is movement on the home front as well. This is someone moves in the home, someone moves out the home, but definite movement on the home front. 
and then we have the Seven of Cups. Going back, you've already had the Seven of Cups. That's the many options here. Okay, so it's come in twice. Weigh your options. Look at which, what your options are. And like I said, to me, it's not in just one area. It's in several areas. Page of Coins comes into play. Now, this is the Page of Pentacles. Um, Page of Pentacles is going to indicate another job offer for a lot of you. Uh, could be a Capricorn energy. Perhaps you're getting another job or seeking a second job or maybe another job opportunity that you, where you're not looking for a job. We have in the center of the reading the King of Swords. This is a Libra energy. This is someone with a sharp tongue, someone who might lash out. Um, I don't see a confrontation, but there again, it's here for a reason, so you need to know about that. And we have the Five of Cups. Again, you're in your own head. Look at this card. Let's see if we can get this to focus here. I'll figure this out soon. See they're standing around someone sick? You're way overthinking things. You're going to make yourself sick. Okay? And we have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is actually a two-fold card. First of all, it comes in as a financial blessing, but there's a spiritual blessing that goes along with this. Okay. And with that, we have the Knight of Swords. Quick moving energy. This week is going to fly by with the quickness, but it's something rushing in for you guys. What is rushing in? Ooh, that rough new beginning. The Death Card energy. Now, I say it's rough because it's a lot going on here. This is endings and closures and rebirths and new beginnings. It's one door closes and one door opens. It happens all at one time. It's going to be emotional any way you look at it, okay? But you're definitely being redirected. And in the center of your reading, we have the Six of Cups. Just like I said at the beginning of the reading, you're definitely reconnecting with someone from your past. Uh, this is someone, I'm going to say, from a good ways ago. Okay, someone you haven't talked to in a very long time, but someone you are delighted and thrilled to reconnect with. Well, Taurus, there is your week. Don't forget, uh, JackieTomlin.com. If you're sitting, seeking a personal reading, you have a great week, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.